and good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500 for Wednesday, May the 31st, 2023. It was a fitting end to May, I have to say. The markets continued to pull back today, got pulled actually in both directions and continued to just play off of whatever they could grab onto or what I'm suspecting may be uh, algorithms that are geared for the news. And so they're fed all of these news feeds and they go for certain phrases or words. And sometimes when that comes into play, bingity, bangity, boom, we get these gigantic pushes in one direction and the next. And that happened several times today. But starting here in the NASDAQ, I continue to view the market. Let me go up to the four hours, we get a little bit bigger picture. I continue to view the market as still being in the completing stages of an intermediate C wave up, and that'll complete a larger primary B wave. And <clears throat> I've taken down all of the upside resistance levels, but they still stand. And if you can go back a day or two, you'll they'll all still be there and you could just review them because they have not changed. But what I have now included is what, what, what I'd be looking for in terms of a fourth wave, a minor fourth wave. And you know something I can do right away here is I can go in and remove a lot of these uh, particular levels that we do not need. And I'm going to say that one and I'll leave that one. In terms of what I'm looking for, I really wouldn't even want it to come down to 618 because then it would be over, overrunning uh, wait, minute wave one. So, or actually minor wave one is the one being played. Excuse me, minor wave one to minor wave three. So it could actually come down, but I would not want to see it below that level where I have marked minor wave one. In any case, I do think we are within a minor fourth wave. Now I'm going to bring it back down to that hourly chart. So again, ABC, we're finishing the C wave. We've done with minor third, we're in minor four, and then that still leaves a minor fifth wave rally to come. Let me go down to the one hour chart. Pull this open, because now what we're focusing on is this wave four. And wave four should be an ABC structure. So this is just the beginning stage. So I began to kind of take a look at this. We've got a lot of it yesterday and then the follow through today. And this is kind of like, I think, put a cap on maybe just the very beginning, the first leg, the A wave, the A of minor four. So if anything, it will be the minute wave A of minor four, which leaves us in a position where we do a small rally, but in a C wave. But mind you, again, on a structure basis, if this works out to be five waves down, so in other words, one, two, three, four, we get a fifth wave bringing us maybe down into that first initial support at 41, 14,186, 87. That's 3A2, which actually would be also for mostly the entire thing, but we're going to have to expand that. And I'll show you why. If it is a zigzag, then it's going to be the zig. And then here we have the B wave and the zag. And we'd be looking for some different Fibonacci's coming off. And so we have to include possibly a drop even further. If, if we come back down and create a new low. If we don't, then I can likely even go A, B, and this is the C, and we put the four here. Again, that's going to depend on what actually is our next step. Or it's an A, B, C. And then we're going to do an ABC up, ABC A, we're going to do an ABC up B and still do a five wave C, but we can be doing it from a, you know, uh, maybe a higher level. So again, we're now just in this trade, what you, what we get type mode, uh, because I still believe there's additional to come. And we have fundamentally, we have the house voting tonight. And in fact, 830 Eastern, that is expected. I would not be looking for it exactly on that time, uh, but preliminary shows that to get it to that vote, uh, it won easily, let's say. 
in the number of votes that were passing it on to the larger vote. Now, what happens then? To be seen. What happens after? To be seen. Because don't forget, we got to get it over to the Senate. They've got to do the same thing. And again, even though the premise may be that's the accepted outcome, uh, until we get it, we don't know what the market's going to do. And most people are kind of kind of looking at, and I'm telling you, but from the weight pattern, I would be joining them, but that I would expect them to come in and start buying it again. So start buying, you know, the the stocks that they just fell in love with uh, last week. NVIDIA, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Apple. I mean, Apple basically ran the show this morning along with Microsoft. And then suddenly Microsoft gave up, gave up the ghost. And Apple, not so bad. But Microsoft did a big turn. Microsoft was up 3 or $4, ended up down 220 And I know it was down further than that. So in any case, within our little picture here, I think technically... I'm going to be leaving open the potential that this initial wave off of that high of 14,570 is going to turn into just the A wave, A of minor four. And it would not be so out of place to look at it in that fashion. In fact, let me just say, this is just retracement levels within that fifth wave. Actually, the further retracement level to bring this whole thing together is down at 13,830. That is where the most common for a minor, particularly this level, minor fourth wave would be 13,830. Now, so the zigzag fits very cleanly and that this has already gone 300. We get a little bit of a rally and we get another 300. We're down here. We're down into these levels. So once we start getting 618 and coming off and then reaching close to that, it's going to fit cleanly. Then we get, if it's the four, we still get a five and expect the five would be expected to take the market back above 14,570. So we still possibly, it's out there, but, but it can happen. The flip side of all this would be that, nope, we're done. And I'd have to, Re not rearrange, but just rework that count to include that this was completion. And if I could do that, again, going out to the four-hour chart, what we'd be looking at is A, B, and then the one and the two, but the three may be here, a four here, and this all works out to be the minor five. So it could be. This gets to be very, very interesting because the way it's counted left gave credence to these rallies being strong and producing a third wave rather than a fifth wave. But these are the alternates. And by the way, this is still the preferred count, but I've got two or three alternates because that's how crazy the market has been. And that's how bizarre in terms of what we have on the sidelines waiting to be dealt with. We have a banking crisis. It's still there. It's not gone away. It really hasn't. And all you got to do is you got to take a look. Look at what Citicorp and, and Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan, they were all down today. Oh, they're thinking about the banks. I don't know. They went down as a sector. So I'm just putting stuff in. There's going to be a million and one reasons why people will tell you. But this is what I notice. So is that done with? Are interest rates really done with? Because we've got the Fed governors going out and saying, well, you know, if we did a pause in June, that would be a good thing because it lets the committee – you know, Federal Reserve, the committee, the committee of these governors, and, you know, to really kind of go over the numbers. You're not doing that now? I mean, I don't know. This is what they talk about. And when they did, they mentioned it, ba-boom. I'm telling you both those indexes, somebody pushed that buy button, and it wasn't really somebody, it was an algorithm picking up on that news. Possible pause in rate hikes. Buy it. And that's what happened. So, Putting that all together, we're getting big reactions. So I'm counting that out, big reactions notwithstanding, or how certain things are going to turn out. We have to have the preferred, which includes another strong rally, or we're done and we start heading down. And we're just going to take our clues and our signs from the market itself. So for tomorrow, 
for tomorrow. Again, depending on what takes place this evening over in the House of Representatives, we could drop down, finish this A, or in all honesty, we can say the four is done, thin, slow, and we just start to go. Now, there is the strong possibility as well. So here we need to be careful. And here's why. I can do an ABC, and if they kind of come up and we get an irregular B wave, so it shoots up, gets about 14,570, and then dies. And you get an ABC, and then we get a wave four. So we have a lot of choices. And that's in both markets, by the way. Wait till you see the S&P. So again, it, it's like it, it, it's not easy to trade this. I, I grant you that. But it's not impossible. And it's not impossible for scalpers, for uh, swing traders, but they're really working tight swings and just you know day trading. So there's, I think, positioning. You got to be very careful. You got to take manage your risk. You've got to be able to move in and out of very short term plays if you're looking for that larger move. So you're going to hang on. You know, no sense just letting something eat you alive if you can continue to trade. But again, then it depends on what kind of account you have. So again, a lot of things going on. And in the NASDAQ right now, I would look for my preferred tells me we still have one more possible little load to do. And then we'll finish five down, and that'll be wave A of four. We do a B wave rally. We come back down in a C wave, end up somewhere down in here, and then rally strongly after four is complete, rally strongly in a fifth wave, breaking 14,570 and heading on up. We will replace all of the resistance levels that got us covered all the way up to 15,000 something. So that's all still out there. Preferred, we have, I've just talked about, two at least alternate all right over to the smp where we continue the saga of what's going on over here it is an interesting story now yesterday i talked about it and i believe i may have even mentioned it there that i had originally marked that the minute third finished here i'm looking for a fourth wave and then the upside to to kick back in and that we have a diagonal triangle forming here. Well, that still is basically the case. We've kind of come down now to the 50% level. And wave four may be, not wave four, but the a, the B of three may be done. And I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, oh, this could be all of three? Mm, no. Like I thought, this could be all of one? Yeah, it's a nice little five. Then what was all of this? And this just really threw us all for a little loop. But then we get another five. Ah, ABC, wave one. ABC, wave two. A, B, C, wave three. Now, if that's the case, the S&P should pick up, rally. Now, again, let me just open this up. Same deal. If this is A, B, and I'm looking for the C wave, one, two, three, four, four, five. And we come down below 74, maybe to 4163. Remember, diagonal triangle, and we're inside. So it's A, B within this third, and then a C wave. So many things you're just like fingernails on a chalkboard because we have to accept these things by like, what? But it works. And it's not that we're stepping outside of the bounds of Elliot. The markets are very bizarre, particularly the S&P. It's been very difficult to kind of pick up. What the heck are they doing here? We've been involved since that October low and putting in an intermediate C wave up, not the October low, excuse me, the March low, and putting an intermediate C wave up since the March low. So far, we're done minor one, two, three, and four. We're in a minor fifth wave, and it is turning into a diagonal. And within that, 
gigantic, incredibly weird minute one and even weirder minute two. And then, then we're in this third. Now, bringing it back down to the hourly, could wave three be done or A, B, C, wave three? Well, where can we go with this third if indeed if indeed, even if it's a one, two, three, four, five, and we're getting, it'll be done, then we start to rally, all right? A, B, C, then we rally. So A wave goes here, the B wave goes here, up three, and the C wave up, up three. So, it is interesting. Now, you can say a lot of things about what this is actually showing us. Um, uh, come on. Uh, I hate it when it does that, but it's kind of the kind of connection between my fingers and the mouse. If we look at a 15-minute chart, this is, how, this is how it's going to drive you crazy. All right, so here we have this ABC, right? Could be out of four, could be. I'm down on the 15-minute chart. Take a peek. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, what's that? I don't know. They just took it, most of it out in one cell program and one bar. There's total rejection of this developing bar. Just knocked it right out of the pool. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. It works, even on the 15, but so does one, two, three, four, five. Depends on how you want to view it. And if it is, and we get a little decline, which would be, you know, a two, then we're looking for a third. If indeed that B wave is done, all right, back out to the hourly. If indeed that B wave is done and we don't get another swing lower and they just take off from here, here's our levels. 4230, 4242, 4249, yeah, 4280 to complete wave three. Okay. And I to complete wave three. Then we get another one, another four, and it'll be three waves. So we've had three, 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 three. This should be a three up. To these levels, I mean, it'll have five wave, five wave structures within it, but it'll end up being a three. It's, it's it is very difficult, and I know I'm just talking all the way through our opening, which is pretty much unchanged. So, what can I look for for tomorrow? We may see some additional downside. Again, we've got this vote coming up. What are they going to do? But remember. Once all of that, who we're done, is off, it's back to what was happening prior to this contest on getting something passed legislatively. So here we are. So again, we have the preferred, which is that it's an A to B, and we'll get to see just to finish the minute three. Then we'll go down again, and then we'll rally again in a five. Or, or, B is done, this is the four, and we're rallying now in the minute wave five to its completion. Again, 42.79, and then on up, and then on up. So at least we have 42.79, 43.28, and we have more above that. But we notice that the market can run out of steam real quick. So here is, that's the whole picture. Now, I know I'm talking long enough. Thank you very much for listening. We'll know much more in a few hours here. Uh, two and a half to be exact, but I'm not looking for the vote right at 30. So we'll see. I'm going to wish everybody a very good evening. And next update will be on Thursday, June 1st.